This is episode 1766. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I honor you for giving yourself permission to slow down and connect to the best part of who you are. In today's episode, you will be guided in a reflection meditation technique. And congratulations to you if you have been with us throughout this week's series to cleanse. If you are just joining us, no worries. Each and every episode can be done all on its own. Each episode follows our theme for the week and offers a different meditation technique each day. So the episodes don't follow a sequence, but they do follow a particular theme. So our cleanse theme has been all about you cleansing your mind, body, and your spirit. And this is a great series to do if you are experiencing big changes in your life or if you are ushering in a new season. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, like I am, spring has sprung. And if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you are into the fall season. So in today's episode, I want to share with you some final insight in regard to your cleanse. Remember, this week's series is laying the foundation for the rest of the month. The entire month will be a cleanse meditation series. Next week, you will cleanse your thoughts cleanse your mind. The following week, you'll cleanse your body. And the final week, the fourth series in this collection of cleanse will be about forgiveness. So this week has been about your mindset and laying the foundation, discovering ways you can purify and cleanse. And you can do these techniques any time throughout your day, not just when you're seated in your chair or on your meditation cushion. Today, I want to share with you some ways that you can cleanse your aura or your spirit or your mindset. And this might seem a little unique for you if you've never approached a cleanse in this way. You may know if you've been listening to me for a while that I had the opportunity to spend a lot of time in Asia. And in particular, I lived for five years in Japan. But where I was raised in the Pacific Northwest of the United States There are a lot of Native American Indian tribes. So I grew up around a lot of different unique traditions for purifying and cleansing. And I learned many new ones while I was in Asia. And so I want to share some unique ways you may or may not have thought about in regard to a cleanse. Many of the purifying, cleansing techniques that are my favorite that I do involve connecting with nature. I think that when you feel united or a part of the essence of nature, that you feel cleansed. It's as though you can let go of your ego, your human ego, and reset your notion about what your life is about and your role in it when you connect with nature. So you could go on a walk where you notice the elements of nature around you and you start to think about 
your role in the world. This will really help you to lighten your load and gain clarity if you're trying to make a big decision. Another way you could cleanse is when it's raining, if you could walk in the rain. Of course, you want to be safe, especially if there's lightning. Where I live in Tampa, Florida, the name Tampa actually means lightning. And so we have more lightning strikes here than any other place on the planet, with the exception of Botswana. So I'm not often able to walk in the rain, but when I'm on the West Coast, especially the Pacific Northwest, I often walk in the rain. And this is very purifying and cleansing. But what I do when I'm not able to walk outside is I open the windows in my home. And I let those nourishing ions from the storm come into my home. So this is a way you could purify and cleanse. I'll be sharing more cleansing techniques with you in the upcoming series. Another way you could cleanse is to take a bath. And you could add essential oils such as rosemary or lavender. Those are purifying essential oils, even add Epsom salts for a little mineral bath. And this is restorative to your soul, soaking in a tub of water. So think about ways that make you feel fresh and cleansed. And this might be a way for you to do an ongoing cleanse. And it's not about cleaning your physical body. It's about feeling renewed and revitalized. So as you get ready to do your meditation today, know that the full half-hour guided meditations are on my Sip and Om meditation app. And when you subscribe there, you can access the app, the full app, of over 1,700 guided meditations free for two weeks. You can unsubscribe at any point, but you can try it for two weeks free. And you get a journal for each week's series customized specifically for that theme for the week. And you get a slowdown guide with the different techniques that I share in each episode So again, this is the Sip and Om Meditation app if you want to go a little more deeply into this week's theme. Well, as you settle yourself down, one of the best ways to cleanse the cluttered thoughts, the distractions, the worries, the cares of the week is to reflect on your week. Acknowledge when you felt uplifted and when you felt maybe as though you could improve a bit or maybe when you were upset. Taking care as you reflect over your week not to go too deeply into any one event that may have happened. Just reflect on what happened throughout the week, what stands out in your mind so you don't have to go through every single day. Just kind of browse the highlights of your week and think about what upset you or when you felt really triggered by a strong, stressful emotion and what may have triggered that. And then always think about your big wins for the week. So this is for you as you sit down and meditate today. Do your reflection meditation technique. Celebrating your big wins and thinking about ways you could improve. No guilt, no judgment, just noticing where you would like things to be a little bit different. 
I have so enjoyed sharing this cleanse meditation series with you. As always, you are so worth slowing down for.